Blender has some of the best modeling tools in the industry, but they can even be better. These assistive add-ons bring new functionality and turn modeling in Blender into a much easier process than you can ever imagine. For example, this projection modeling tool can create 3D models from 2D projections. You just use curves or simple meshes to create silhouettes or shapes that make the overall shape of the object and the add-on will do the rest, filling in the middle detail and parts. You can create complicated models using different cutouts from different projection angles. You can add and subtract cutouts, something that would be impossible with ordinary Blender tools. When modeling, you use your transform tool or gizmo more than any other tool. You use it to extrude, move faces and vertices, rotate meshes and more. But the orientation of the gizmo or transform tool is equally as important as the tool itself, as it directs where the transformation is facing or moving. Blender orientation tools are few and limited. This friendly pivot add-on brings new features to help you orient and move your gizmo more efficiently. The friendly pivot add-on is not only limited to meshes but works on curves and bones as well. Adops is one of the best hard surface modeling tools for Blender. It is also an indestructible process, meaning you can change any detail you want on the fly. You can use it in object mode, edit, sculpt mode, and sketch mode. This is the perfect add-on for anyone making hard surface objects like robots, mechanical models, and more. Some detail is harder to model, like cloth and fabric. You either have to sculpt it or simulate it. Sculpting takes too much time, and simulating also takes a lot of time to set up. This Blender Inflate add-on uses cloth simulation but saves you the setting up process. All you have to do is select the part you want to turn into cloth and the add-on will do the rest. It's really great for detailing sci-fi interiors and more. If you want to add wire detail on your models, don't skip this add-on. You just click two points on any surface and wires will be connected between these points. You can control the length, the sagging of the curve, width, type of the curve and more. This is the best type of modeling tool for buildings. Your only job is to decide on the shape of your building and the add-on handles the rest. It will add windows, doors, roofs, and any other small details you expect on the building. Plus, it will add the materials and textures all on the fly. And you can still change the shape and style of the building at any time. If you liked auto building because it allows you to model just the basic stuff and the add-on does the rest, then you're going to love BP GeoGen, which takes this a step further, giving you a bunch of generators that you can drag and drop onto any model and it will turn it into a number of things like planets, slime, vegetation, scales, spaceships and more. Sometimes the best modeling tools are the ones where you don't have to model anything at all. This library is a library of blooming flowers that are fully animated with your mental nodes. There is also a full tutorial to show you how you can make one yourself. But if you are lazy like me, there is enough cherry blossoms, jasmine, lavender, orange blossoms, orchids, roses and violets in this pack that you will never need to make one yourself. If you want to be taken seriously as a professional hard surface artist, get Box Cutter. It will help you deliver high detailed models in less time than your traditional tools. It's also an indestructible tool, so if your clients require minor changes, you can deliver them with just a few undos without undoing everything you have done to that point. Here is another amazing building generator. It comes with a number of templates for buildings, including modern designs, classic, medieval wooden structures, and more. You just drag the template onto any mesh and it will become a fully detailed building, saving you hundreds of hours in modeling and texturing. Every detail on your model has to be added somehow, and modeling it directly is the slowest and least efficient way to add detail to models. This real damage add-on just adds damage to any mesh you give it. It also adds internal structure like rebar and wire mesh for extra realism. Random, coherent, and consistent detail is impossible to add unless you are willing to put in hundreds of hours. But why would you do that? When an add-on like Random Flow can do it for you in less than a second, you select the part you want to add detail and the add-on does it for you. This is especially great for detailing ships, sci-fi cities, or structures. If you want to add repeating mesh patterns onto any model, like a chain armor, cloth patterns, and more quite easily, this nano mesh can do it for you. It comes with its own nano patterns, but it will also accept custom ones as well. 
you can't model water. You either have to simulate it or use this curve fluids. It's not going to give you the detail you get with simulating water directly, but it also works in real time, saving you hours in simulation. You can use it for product presentation or just as a magic effect in your renders. The fluid supports collision and buoyancy. Thank you for watching. Those were some of the best modeling tools I could find. See you in the next video.